Hello and welcome to another Swap Up Gaming Tutorial. This will be a very quick thing about how to create this radial material with input controls that we can use as a radial progress bar material in a widget. This is part of a larger tutorial in controlling a door with a button with a time mechanism and you have to press the button for a specific time for the door to open. As soon as that is done I will add it to the screen here and in the description. Until then hit that subscribe button and notification bell to see when it comes out. Okay, let's jump right into this. I'm creating a new material and naming it Circle Material. We need to start by changing the material domain to User Interface and the Blend Mode to Translucent. Okay, let's create the material. First, we need to create a rotator so we can control where the rotation starts and ends. We start by adding a Texture Coordinate node and subtract half from it to center it, as you can see here. Then we want to make the rotation part of the circle and we start by adding a custom rotator. We add two values. It is the rotation center. This will be set to 0, 0.0. Now this angle is the value of where you want the rotation to start. At 0 it starts at 3 o'clock and then it moves backwards so with my 0.25 it starts at the top at 12 o'clock. Let us add a vector to radial value node and plug it in. And now you can easily see what happens when we change the rotation value. Alright, let us now add the external controller and a mask for what to show and what not to show. So we add an if statement and connect it to the vector converted to angle plug. And then we add two values. If A is greater than B or A is equal to B, then we don't want to show the material, so that will be a zero value. However, if it's not, then we want to show the material, and that means we have to have a value of 1. Okay, what are we now putting in B? Well, this is the value that we want to control from a widget, so we need to have a parameter. So let us add a vector 1. Right click on it and convert it into a parameter. Let us change the name to progress. Set it to a value between 0 and 1. And then let us clamp it and hook it up to B. This is now the parameter we can change in the widget. Okay, if we preview this now, we can see that we have a block that looks like this. But we want it to be a circle, right? So let's mask it and make it look like one. So here below we can add a radial gradient exponential node. And add two values. One is the radius and the other one is the density. The radius value is the size of the circle and the density is the sharpness of its edge. So I've chosen 0 0.5 and 250 here. If you preview this and change the density to something low like 30, you see that it's very fuzzy. Okay, let's change it back to 250. So this will be the outer radius of the circle. To make the inner radius, we copy these and paste them in and then lower the radius value to 0 0.35 now let us comment these. The top one is the outer line and the lower one is the inner line. Now let us subtract the outer line from the inner line. If we preview this we see that there is the ring we want. So all we need to do now is to mask this with a multiply node. Now we can hook this up with the opacity plug. Finally we just want something to control the color in our widget so we add a vector 4 and hook it up with a final color. This need to be changed to a parameter as well and rename it to color. Let us just change the default value to that. Well that's it. Save it and then we're done with this circle material. If you wanted to see it hooked up and animated in the widget, join me in the tutorial for the door opener. Look in the description if it's out yet. But hey, thanks for joining me and like, subscribe and all that good stuff. See you next time on Swap Up Gaming.